Logan, welcome to the cave. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. Thank you for joining me today. You know, like, uh, I'm a little excited for you, man. You got uh, Blackbird July 8th, then you got uh, Where the Crawl That Sing July 6th, July 15th. It's kind of exciting, exciting times for you, my friend. Yeah, it all, uh, you know, we, we, we never know how this stuff lines up in this industry and this yeah. stuff has thankfully lined up really well so <laughs> and also i think you know when i saw the preview of both both blackbird and crowd ads they both they look really good i'm really really excited for both of them you know you never know what the finished product's going to be and they both um look like they're going to be successful and interesting projects before we jump more into the your projects and everything i was like doing some research on you did you start off in the modeling career and that's and then from there you went into the entertainment industry so I did. Yeah. I, um, you know, I started modeling kind of, I, I thought about it. Well, I started it in high school and then it got a little more serious in college. And then it actually kind of took me away from college and I ended up in New York city for a while. Um, yeah. And then from there, I just kind of wanted something more, you know, modeling, you know, it's, it's just kind of uh, slightly repetitive in terms of a shoot to shoot to shoot a little bit. Um, so from there, I was like, okay, what can we do? So I, I started to kind of chase after the acting stuff and I just kind of, you know, caught the, you know, the craze or whatever. And yeah. it went from there. How did that happen exactly? Were you watching something? And you're like, you know, I might want to get into this or what happened? You know, it was, I don't know if it was necessarily watching anything. I think it, in my mind, for some reason, I'm not sure why it seemed like the next progression to make. It seemed like, right you know, kind of one step deeper than, you know, what modeling was. So I started to pursue it a little bit with classes. And when I took classes, I was like, oh, I, I, I kind of love this. And it kind of brought out feelings and, you know, emotions that, you know, were there, but I've never worked through and, you know, really been able to experience and stuff. And I was like, hey, this is kind of amazing. And I mean, it's not an easy journey, but here we are. So no complaints. Right. Now, was this, uh, did you st stick around in New York when you took these classes or did you jump right to LA? So I, I did. I stuck, I stuck around in New York. Um, you know, New York is such a huge modeling hub that, um, you know, I kind of had to quote unquote, keep the day job of modeling. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, we had the income, but uh, yeah, I, I was taking some classes in New York. I worked with this phenomenal teacher on the Upper West Side. Her name is Sheila Gray. And um, it was just some very introductory sensory work, which really laid this great foundation for me because she really taught me how to kind of tap into those things and how to use those feelings and emotions that we all have and how to bring them out when you're working through a scene. So I, I worked with her for a really long time um, and then kind of kind of built from there, sort of taking some improv classes as well, just mm -hmm. to try to kind of round out a resume or whatever for you know how this industry works what did you think of the improv classes i've had a uh, improv performers come on the show before and it's an interesting uh technique oh it, honestly i think if i could do anything i would i would be on a some kind of you know comedy based show um and improv is just it's, I think, the one part of the craft that I think you see results throughout your daily life. I mean, my friends and I were just like shooting the shit and I would be so much quicker and wittier with them and they'd <laughs> say something and I could go right back to them and everything. <laughs> so it, it, you, you see the results very quickly from it. And it's, it, they say it, it's a muscle and it's, mm. it's just like working that muscle. And I think it's a fun one to do. It really is. That's awesome. So yeah, we mentioned, you know, earlier, you got two projects coming up. Let's start with crowd dogs, crowd dads. How did, how did you get approached for this? And I know you're, you're playing uh, Jody Clark. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, that's correct. So, um, so it was funny, actually, uh, I had auditioned for at least one other role within it. Um, okay. and now I'm of course thinking who it was. It was one of the, it wasn't the sheriff. I believe it was the deputy. And that was the initial one that I auditioned for. Um, and I think, of course, now you see like final results and you see what they were looking for and everything. And I was probably just a touch too young for it. Um, and then they turned around and sent the audition through for Jody. And I, I think I just got lucky in the sense that he, Jody and I have a lot of crossover in terms of the type of people that we are. 
when it relates to just our lives and how we look at life and, you know, kind of our philosophies and whatnot that I think even looking back on the audition and stuff that that stoic behavior that Jody was really showed through um, in the audition. So Mm -hmm. it was just kind of a, a, a by chance, you know, audition that really worked out because I related to the character a lot. Uh, Were you asked to uh, audition for Jody after you went the first time? Like, did you have to audition again? Yeah, so I did. Yeah, I did audition for Jody. And I mean, it's so funny. It's, you know, I've gotten to the point and this is such a crazy industry in the sense that, you know, there's going to be so many more no's than there are yeses. So I've gotten to the point where I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to throw what I believe this person is together Mm. and looking back on it, it, you know, it it really was who Jody is and it worked out great in that sense, but it wasn't anything Mm. special. So many people think they have to, you know, go work with a coach or go do this and that. And I look at that audition and it was truly against, you know, a white wall in my house with some really crappy Mm. kitchen lighting. So, (laughs) you know, that kind of stuff can actually get you roles and people don't think it does, but it's, you know, it's more about what you bring to it than anything else. What was the description you were given for Jody? And like, how did you prepare to play the role after? (sighs) You know, I don't know the exact character description off the top of my head, who he was, but I, as soon as I was offered the role, I wanted to really deep dive into it. So of course I read the book and in the book, Jody, I mean, there's an entire chapter that that's the, that's the title of like chapter Jody. And I remember mm-hmm. reading it and it just kind of, it gave you chills seeing that knowing I'm like, this, this, this person's very, very important to who this is. And when you deep dive into Jody, you realize that he had a very hard life. He had his difficulties from a very, very young age within his family and things that he had to deal with. And he has this deep, deep love for his sister. And all he wanted to do was protect her. But at the same time, too, he also had to survive. So it's this slightly heartbreaking thing where, you know, they, he leaves her is, is part of the storyline. But, you know, it's beautiful what comes back together with all of it. And he just he's this character that's slightly resilient and that you see him fight through and he really he loves his sister and you see him come back and help her. How close is the book to the film? Um, you know, I think they did a really good job. It's very hard for, you know, books to turn around or movies to turn around yeah. and get everything that a book does. But I think they really did. They really did do a good job in that sense that it it, it, it should leave fans happy, I think. Good. What did you love about Jody? Uh, Joe, you know, I think. I had the opportunity and, you know, I, I, I have tried to do right by all of it. So mili- he, he went into the military is basically what Jody ended up doing. Mm. Um, and I think learning that side of it, you know, my character has, you know, patches and, you know, little things that he earned while he was in the military. And I just very much wanted to do right by that. And I was asking a lot of questions when I was on set because I just, you know, I I know these medals and these patches mean so much to these people within the armed forces that I didn't feel like I was doing them justice if I didn't know what they were. So I I really tried to learn that side of it that I thought was very interesting. My grandfather was um, in the Navy. So I I was able to connect on a certain level with that. I thought that was, that was very nice. What was the biggest like thing working like in the set? Like you kind of like, it, it brought you in more and more. I think how real it was, you know, it was shot just outside of New Orleans and the accuracy after reading the book to stepping on set, I was like, oh, this is, (laughs) this is better than my imagination was, (laughs) which is, you know, I mean, that's, that's the best case scenario as an actor, because sometimes you show up and it's like, here's a green screen and pretend this is real. And you you (laughs) didn't have, you didn't have to, you know? That's awesome. Now, th- this was produced by Reese Witherspoon and, and by her company. Did you get a chance to like meet her, interact or anything? So I didn't. Unfortunately, our dates didn't quite cross over. Um, okay. I think there will be opportunities going forward the closer we get to this release date and everything. Um, but I didn't actually on set. Have you had a chance to watch the finished project, the, the film? So I have not yet. Okay. So I, I have been able to see some of my work in it. 
Um, okay. but I have not been able to see the finish, see the finished product. Um, it's, it looks good from what I've seen so far. I'm sure you've probably seen the yeah. same amount that I have, but right. I am definitely still chomping at the bit a little bit. That's awesome. So next Apple TV, Blackbirds, tell us a little bit about that. Ah, cool experience. Um, again, it was actually shot in New Orleans and oh, wow. it, it was cool. So I, I have a little bit more of the backstory in my relationship to the lead character, Taryn Egerton. Um, I was one of his high school friends, basically. So, I mean, such a fun day on set, really. I got to go in and and play the, you know, the, the close friend that never grew up. So mm. we're doing all this stupid stuff, acting like we're basically still in college with this dude, just reliving the glory days. But, it, you know, when you just get to go in and kind of shoot the shit all day long, it's it's a fun day. And that comes out July, we said 8th, right? 7th or 8th. I think it's 7th. 7th or 8th. Okay. So what's next for you now? Any other projects you're allowed to tell us about? So not specifically. Yeah, I guess is the, is the easy answer. Um, <laughs> there's a couple There's a couple things uh, we're working through, but uh, not specifically yet. I was told to ask you, outside of acting, what else do you enjoy doing? Ooh, um, so I try to follow a lot of sports. I grew up playing sports. I, you know, I was, I, I'm originally from just outside of Boulder, Colorado and okay. uh, two younger brothers and all we ever did was play sports. So I, I follow my sports a lot. Um, I'm rooting for the avalanche a little bit right now with hockey. Um, there's what else? Um, sports. When I'm home in Colorado, I like to go snowboarding during the winter. That's a big one to get in there but um, really just trying to find different ways to stay active. All right, that's awesome. Uh, lastly, how can the viewers and listeners find you on social media? Uh, so Twitter and Instagram, that's all I have. I, I don't know if I have the energy for TikTok. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it's Logan McRae on that's both awesome. of them. So Blackbird, July 8th, and uh, Crawdad, Crawdad Singh, July 15th. Yep, yep. Great. Can't wait till everybody yeah. check it out. Logan, thank you for giving me a few minutes today. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So